You want to know who the David E. Taylor really is? I'm a man of compassion. I'm not tooting my own horn. These are the things God has even said about me. Himself in heaven. I'm a man of compassion. I'm not a man of judgment. Although judgments from God comes through my life, it ain't me judging people. It's God doing it. I don't stand in the place of God. I will not fall to that temptation that Eve fell to, that the Jews fell to, and that Lucifer fell to. What is it? They want to be like God. They're always putting themselves in the place where God is. And there is a place about God you can't occupy. Not even Jesus can occupy it. Although he is one with God, there are certain things Jesus said he cannot do because it's put in the Father's hands alone. Acts chapter 1. All of you who think God and Jesus are equal in the sense of being the same person, that's false doctrine. Jesus says, my Father is greater than I. God is greater than Jesus. Jesus said this in John. So for you to make them both equal in rank is wrong. Lift your hands and say, Lord, open my eyes to revelation right now. Come on, open my eyes to revelation. Lift your hands. Come on, take that. The scales fall off my eyes. And I discern there are some of you out there that's listening to me, but you are struggling. These words are, are hitting and knocking the callousness off your heart because you've been taught the wrong way for many years. The church has taught you to be judgmental. And to be judgmental is to act holy. It's a form of righteousness that man has come up with. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I would rather, listen to me, I would rather, from walking with God this long for 30 years face to face, I have learned one thing. I would rather err on the side of showing people too much mercy and love than the other way around. I'm telling you, I, I would rather err in walking in love. I'd rather err in loving somebody too much than to be judgmental. Because it's dangerous. What is it? Yes, it's God's law, but it's dangerous for you because that law is going to come back on you. It's a two-edged sword. So what did, what did God do in order to save you? He says, listen to my son. This is my beloved son. Hear him. Follow his ways. Follow this. Because if you try to do it my way, you got to be judged on my level. And you, none of you can take that. None of you. Lift your hands and say, Lord, fill me with your love. Come on. Fill me with your love. Fill me with your mercy. Help me to be an advocate for humanity. Come on. Help me to be an intercessor like you for humanity. Help me, God. Come on. Say, help me to be merciful. Help me to stay on my knees for others. Help me to intercede on my knees for those who need help. For my brothers and sisters who are in the church who may be erring and making mistakes in their life. Help me, oh God. I don't want to go to hell being a pastor, being an apostle. Listen, I don't care if you're an apostle, you can still go to hell. Judas went to hell. He was an apostle of God. He went to hell. It don't matter if you're a prophet. I'm talking to all apostles and prophets. I don't care what your office is. Bishops, I don't care who you are. If you don't abide by this, you will go to hell. If you do not listen to these words from Jesus, from the Holy Scriptures. No apostle, no bishop, no pastor, no fivefold ministry leader is holy enough to be a, a person of judgment or to judge people. No one. Lift your hands. And, and one of the things I've learned, I've watched different leaders across the body of Christ. They know this. So you know what they, what they do? They won't speak evil openly and post that on Facebook or YouTube because they know they have faults and problems. They won't do it. But what they do, they don't stop those who do. They join in with them because when they see a minister fall, they think, well, I got the potential to gain more sheep. It's evil how they think. It's evil. I'm telling you what goes on out here in the body of Christ. It's wicked. It's like they get a relief from them seeing somebody attack another preacher or fall. I ain't saying everyone is like that, but I am telling you, I have watched them. I have seen this. If for any reason in your mind you join with any accusers, suddenly or publicly, it don't matter. You say, well, I didn't go public. Well, you did in your heart, and in the heart is where it counts to God. You can't get away with it. You're not going to get away with it if you didn't say, say nothing publicly, if you said something privately, if you said something in your heart, that's where God, that's where it's going to count the most, your heart. But God look at on the heart, not on just the outward appearance. Hallelujah. How many are learning something here? Listen, I love you so much. Do you know that? I love all of you so much. I love all of you so much. I don't want to see nobody go to hell. When I was in hell, I saw Christians. Christians, so-called Christians or church people in hell. I saw them, those who went to church all their life. But they wouldn't forgive. They had a judgmental attitude and God had to judge them because they were judging people. You don't want to do that. You got to turn around before it's too late. I don't care if your denomination taught you to be that way. For forsake that stuff not perfect they meant well but they're not perfect they got it wrong i know a lot of denominations holiness denominations those that believe strongly in righteousness they've gone over the edge and a lot of them are the main ones going to hell because they're the main ones that judge all out of the message of holiness and i believe in holiness but i feel i, I know by the word of god that the greatest level of holiness is love it's not righteousness it's love for love is the fulfilling of all the law the bible says do you hear that love is the fulfilling of the law you can't even fulfill the law with just righteousness you would get off and start doing your own righteousness god says Perfect holiness is loving. Love will put you on the path to do things right. When I made up my mind to master love, when I took my eyes off trying to do everything in God's law, I said, I'm just going to master love. Lord, teach me how to love. I started fulfilling the law. Do you see that? You must choose love. Don't choose righteousness. Don't try to choose to be like God. Choose love. God is love. 